Hi there, in this video we're going to make a pasta board using this piece of timber. Now this timber I've bought at the local hardware store, it's cost me about $45. And it measures 1200 by 600 and it's 18 millimeters thick. And the timber is a beach type timber. So we're going to maintain the 600 width, but we will trim back the length to about 800 millimeters. Now with this excess timber, we're going to actually cut a strip and we're going to screw it into the underside of the width of this um, side here. And that way when you're using the pasta board, you rest it on your kitchen bench top. And that piece of timber that we're going to place here is actually going to locate it and prevent the board from moving forwards as you're working on it. Now pasta boards can have a variety of forms, shapes, designs and uses in the kitchen. We're just going to keep it nice and simple with the square shape and a nice locating border. And then we'll sand and finish it off with some sort of wax, a food safe wax. So let's get started. All right, so we're at the 800 mark, so we'll just make a line there, as such, and then we'll repeat the same thing on the other side over there. So I've set up the timber so it's ready for cutting, and here's our line, and you can see that I've put that line just over, maybe about an inch, 20 millimeters or so, over the um, bench top, and that way when I cut with the circular saw, I know that I won't actually clash with the bench top. And I've also set up on either side these G clamps just to secure this timber as we're cutting it. And I've just placed some spare timber underneath the clamp. That way none of the paint gets onto the actual good timber that we want. And also the pressure of the clamp damages this timber first before it damages our good timber. And before I cut this line, I'm actually going to cut about a 50 mil strip over here and that way that strip we'll use as our locating edge on that timber so when it's up against the kitchen bench it can't go anywhere. So I'll do that first and then I'll proceed to cut um, this timber over here. And before we cut, don't forget your safety gear like your glasses and your earmuffs just to protect yourself. Now just a handy tip, when you use the circular saw, don't actually start the blade on the timber because you will chip the timber like that. So that's a rookie error. Thankfully it's not on the main piece, so the main piece is over here, but um, just something to be mindful of. So that's all the cutting done, now we've got our nice straight edge. So we've got roughly 600 by 800, and then we've got our locking piece of timber. Now I'll either put it like that, or flat like that. I think that might be a lot easier to screw in and probably will we won't risk splitting this timber whereas we can see that the laminations go across like that so we might split the timber like that so we might just stick to that edge like that now like I mentioned before the reason why we put an additional piece of timber if you can see the impression that the G clamp has left on this timber Whereas on the actual good timber, because we've spread that pressure, there's no marks on this timber. So a handy hint there for you. So now that we've got the main timber cut, we're going to get our locating piece over here. We'll just flip it around. And this is the good edge. That's the original edge. And also this is the original edge. And we're just going to secure it in place. And we'll do so with some screws and some glue. Now this is probably not the ideal glue, there's probably better glues out there, um, but for what we need it'll do the job. Now just something to be mindful of is when selecting a screw, is make sure that the screw 
isn't too long where it's going to come through on the other side, but isn't too short where it's not going to actually engage the main timber. So we'll pre-drill these holes and that way we prevent any cracking or splitting in the timber and then we'll screw these in. You want to align this bottom piece corner to corner and the same with this side over here and I've just used another piece of timber for clamping purposes. Now we're going to pre-drill these holes, two millimeter um, drill tip will do it so we'll get the two and we'll also make sure we set an end stop so we don't actually drill through both pieces of timber. All right, so we've set an end stop on the drill and that way we can't actually drill further than that bottom piece there. Now, unfortunately, I actually snapped a screw. You can see the head. It just kept spinning um, in the hole. So I'll just drill a hole next to it and drill um, a second screw there. And then I'll just putty this hole up. So now that we've secured the locking timber in position with our screws and glue, we'll just make sure there's no glue running out through the um, join and then we'll also sand it and then we'll finish the timber off with wax and when you sand go with the grain not against the grain so we finished sanding our pasta board and just as a final check, you might just want to run your fingers over all the corners and cutting faces especially, just in case there's any rough bits left over. But that seems all right. So we'll just give it a bit of a wipe down, get all this sawdust off, and then we'll give it a coat of wax. So now that we've finished sanding and we've cleaned up the face from the sawdust, I'm going to get a nice clean rag and apply this wax onto the surface of the timber. So just grab a little bit at a time and then just work your way into the wood. All right, so I've just finished waxing the board. So this is the underside complete. All the corners and side faces are done. So I'm just gonna flip it over and make sure that that top face is still okay and maybe even give it a final buff. So here's our finished pasta board. Now that the wax has been applied, it's given it a nice low sheen and it's also brought out the richness of the timber and it's given it a nice waterproof protective layer as well. Now our locating tab will sit on the edge of the bench like that. So when you're actually working on the pasta board, it can't actually slide forwards. I hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.